All right, this is it. The uh, drawing of the RX-1R Mark II. This is actually a bittersweet moment for me because this camera is such a cool camera. It takes such cool video and pictures. Um, I've hardly ever used it, which is why I'm giving it away, but it, it, it was, we got some really good memories with this thing. We, this is what we used on the National Book Tour. Oh. For all the, all the morning shows as the, as the behind the scenes camera. And that's all I ever used it for. And that was like two years ago. And it just sits there on my desk and I look at it and I go, that's nice, you know, but I never use wow. it. So yeah, we got, it gave us some good memories, but it's a great camera and. Time to pass it on. In life, I always say, you don't own anything in life. Everything you have is on loan to you. Oh. So it's time for this to have a new person to take care of it. So we're passing on. And create new memories with it. Right, right. Oh, if only cameras could talk. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad they don't. <laughs> anyway, so all right, we got more entrance on this. We had to get a huge bag. Huge, huge. Uh, is this the most entrance you've ever had? I think so. This is like, wow. it, it's always just flooding in. Odds are super slim. Whoever wins yeah. this should go enter the California lottery immediately. It's, it's kind of weird how all these people acknowledged us and wrote us and, and only one person gets it. It's just weird. Gets what? The prize. Oh, right. And all these other people are like, oh, this is so sorry. Oh, I thought you were talking about gets the format of how to ride it. <laughs> Cause there's still a few people that are not getting it. Oh, but when I yeah. was doing the email, oh my oh. God, it was such a pleasure to have the people that did it in five lines. It's amazing. Name, address, yeah. state, city and state, email and phone number. It's amazing how people can't even get something so simple right as writing down how, how, do, how an American address is supposed to be uh, written. You've got Bob Smith, then you got 123 Main Street, right. the next line is Pasadena, California, the next line is, or, or, and then the zip code, and then you put a phone number and an email address, so that's what, five lines? Right, it's really simple, and you know, it, it, as, as Americans, we can easily determine an American oh, address. Yeah. There's no need to put USA. Yeah. People put Pasadena, California, USA, or, or Altamont, um, Indiana, uh, United States. Like, okay, I think we can tell this is a, an American address. And something else that causes me, I like love it when I'm in the zone. I'm just copy paste, dun 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 dun. And then I come to ones that they put name semi quotation yeah, dot dot yeah d and then and semi -quotation. address dot dot so and so i and then i have to delete name address or there's lines in between and then i have to up them up you know bring them close i gotta make a video showing them okay <laughs> all right children this is how you write your name address phone number and email address it's not that complicated but for those of you that got it very good yeah a plus and a lot of people actually it's is amazing before you send an email and i know i'm dragging this out and you say just get just give me the camera <laughs> all right but uh it's amazing how many people could not get this are not going to get this camera because they wrote Bob Smith, 123 Main Street, 212, no and then a phone number and an email. They didn't write the city or the, or, or, or the state. Bad. Like, okay, hey, check your email before you send it. Like, you can't just give me your, your street address and then nothing else. Like, well, okay, you're on Main Street. And it's not that Marcus is controlling. The reason he wants it formatted in those five lines is because it's easier to, it's easiest to make the cut you know, and cut and paste and have template to make these things to make the template to fit into a grid that fits exactly and on each you, of the and if you don't make it into those five lines, we have to take the time out. But if you do make it into those five lines, it is a quarter of a second to get your name and information into. And, and, and of Here. course, some of these people are like, you've got an American address, but the phone number is from Pakistan or something. Like, okay, I can see what you're doing here, but oh, whatever. Okay, so let's just get to this because people who want their camera, they want to just give me the camera. Forget the boring stuff. Okay, so uh, you have the honors. Thank you. It seems to be uh, election selection day. Oh, yeah. oh, wow. Okay, so I'm shaking it. Just do your hand okay. in there without, without knocking any out of the seat. I only knocked one. Slowly stir it. Really stir it up. 
The names are being swirled. Imagine how many people are fast forwarding this right now. Three thousand dollar camera. Okay. Ah, I'm so excited, and I'm not even gonna win anything. Okay, here we go. Donald Trump. How did he get in this? <laughs> Something's not right. I guess. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> this is like the day to do so anyway. So, ha, huh, we have a winner, don't we? Okay, let me amp up the suspense factor. <laughs> the first letter. Oh, just one. Of just the just name one. is sorry. Unless your name begins with R. I'm sorry, you didn't win it. The second letter it which just, is I. I'll just say it. And the third just letter is C. Oh, God. Rick Hunt. <laughs> Rick Hunt from Fort Myers, Florida. Congratulations. Fort Myers, Florida. Okay, congratulations, Rick. You got yourself a... Sony RX1R Mark II, a $3,000 camera that's hardly been used. It's yours. Congratulations. I have a lot more. So stuff to sorry away. to everyone that didn't win. There's a lot more stuff to be given away. This is just one thing. Um, I buy stuff, I try it out. And if I don't use it a lot or it's just not, yeah, whatever. I, I just, I, I don't hold on to things. I'd like to keep it moving and flowing because energy should flow. It shouldn't be stagnant in life. So keep trying. And I believe this theory that everybody thinks they, that like a lot of people, they hold on to things because they think they're, you know, they, they, they fear loss. But what you don't understand is when you create a hole in your life, when you give something away and you create an empty spot, something else is going to fill it. Life just keeps filling in a void, and it, that's just the nature of the universe. So I'm not worried about not having stuff. You know, it, it, there's always going to be something filling it, even if it's just a good feeling that we did something good. So, anyway. So beautiful. <laughs> so if, uh, tell your friends about the channel, Marcus Picks. We have lots of really cool, creative stuff for you, uh, ideas that other people don't do. I worked in Hollywood for 20 years. And I learned a lot of cool tricks and tips. And I, I grew up on a farm in Canada. So for me, improvising and learning to use what you have available is something that I naturally do. I'm, I'm an artist. I like to tinker and create. So I share it with you. And uh, that's what this channel is about. The joy and love of photography and, and uh, making what you have work. So stay tuned to the next video. And uh, we'll see you then. Congratulations, Rick.